effort do not waste your pain there is a crown that your pain today will put on your head my question for you as we wrap up tonight's teaching is can God count on you are you going to join the many who have disappointed God and disappointed destiny or are you going to make up your mind whatever you want to do Lord you can do through me whatever you want to say Lord you can say through me whoever you want to lift Lord you can lift through wherever you want to go Lord you can go I'm yours I'm yours forevermore Whatever you want to start, Lord, you can start through me. Whatever you want to end, Lord, you can end for me. vow and I made a covenant with my destiny that I will not fail God and I will not fail my generation but talk is cheap these are the principles that you must be willing to go if you cannot live with these principles my dear brother my dear sister let me assure you that destiny will only remain prophecy and empty talk from the lips of a non-compliant believer there are two prayer points we are going to pray right now many of us are stepping into defining moments in our lives God has pointed all these areas there has to be a prayer point you've already generated from this teaching without me having to prompt you for some of you it is the understanding that there is destiny within me some of you is the understanding that just folding my arms and crossing my legs will not actualize destiny some of you you've learned tonight that destiny can be aborted yes sir it can some of you need discovery some of you need development some of you need to go for knowledge some of you need to invest in prayer very very important some of you need to go for competence and excellence are we together some of you need to be disciplined and focused and some of you need to stand haven't done all to stand to understand that process is not anything strange process is not necessarily an attack no no matter how how well a mother feeds her baby the baby will not become an adult by the next day it will still be called a healthy baby and if an elderly man starves himself to death he will not say he will not be a baby an elderly man who became a baby he will be a malnourished elderly man there are some things that only time does if a woman takes in even if she's praying in tongues every day the time allotted for pregnancy is nine months she will have to wait in hope every day 
she can pray for supernatural birth and safety while she's carrying the baby but that nine months it must happen no matter how gifted your child is in nigeria and most parts of the world once he's not 18 years according to the law of the land if he's caught driving around they will take him to court even if he's as tall as an iroko tree if he's 13 years his height notwithstanding he will wait let me tell you the truth there are some things that will only happen with time and in time man of god no matter how you pray and fast take it easy the anointing will come gradually don't expect to get benny Hinn's anointing overnight don't expect the grace and the impact and the result that is upon our fathers to land on you but they laid hands on me i can tell you what came on you the whole thing came on you but the administration of it is part time and by your knowledge god isn't foolish god will not carry the load that a camel carries and put it on a tortoise or put it on a dog it will kill you he says to not cast his spell before swine so for some of you be careful what you are praying for transfer that prayer into your future and be grateful for what god is doing now lord i'm praying if if i do not make 10 billion or 50 billion by the end of 2022 except god is not faithful let me help you you are not wrong you are not a sinner it's just the wisdom you need because the way god works he does not jump you from being a broke person to have 50 billion you cannot have 50 billion without being friends with government and certain people there is a network that will have to maintain that level of cash flow there are many things we do not know we just claim things blindly and preachers is good to pray for people but we must teach them wisdom so we stop mocking ourselves in church and making a fool of ourselves god gives speed god makes great but there is a process final scripture luke 2 52 give it to us in amplified if we can or niv any of the versions and jesus increased one version will say grew this statement for many years disturbed me why should jesus grow jesus grow what are you growing into again the word the logo is not part of it the the fullness of the expression of the godhead but when he became a man he was never born an adult there was only one adult who came and caused trouble immediately and god said no from that time everybody must go through process can i tell you run away from people with instant results without process before you celebrate people and draw their achievements and ruin your space and your destiny find out whether there is a track record if you don't find blood there if you don't find tears there if you don't find faith there if there is no equation in their life where they have to trust god and agree with god you are sitting on a time bomb is god helping us quit the pressure of trying to belong to associations and groups be patient and grow if god has given you the leverage of great parents or a good ministry good mentorship take it as a leverage but it will not replace this price that you must pay is someone ready to pray just two prayer points tonight one cry for grace lord grace to not disappoint you and grace to not disappoint my generation go ahead and pray may my life not be a lesson and a warning may it be an inspiration someone is praying may my life not be a lesson and a warning let it be an inspiration someone is praying that when they talk about those making impact for the kingdom in ministry in business forget about the naysayers focus on your destiny everyone on earth needs help including arrogant people everyone on earth needs help 
including those who act like they do not so don't mind anybody who looks down on you open up your heart early and say god help me someone is praying for everyone that ask it receive it lord i will not disappoint you and i will not disappoint my generation i obtain grace i obtain grace i obtain grace i obtain grace someone pray grace to find my place in life grace to be determined grace to go for knowledge grace to invest in prayer as a lifestyle grace to be disciplined and to be focused grace to be competent and excellent grace to endure let the fire walk me oh god to become that vessel of honor let the fire prune everything i will pass through the law process with honor go ahead and pray i obtain grace to pass through the the season of process you are blessing me i thank you for what you have done in my life in the name of jesus look up please let me tell you one of the major principles i learned from our fathers of faith that has helped my life in a mighty way today a life of consistent gratitude for many of you if you take your eyes away from all this life of complaining and grumbling as a man of god god gave me 1000 members oh god if you live in that realm you will fail some of you you may not have one million the 200,000 naira you have in your account, the 10 million, the 100 million, you have 1 billion, you are saying, God, what is in 100 billion you cannot give me? Father, that you were able to trust me with 1 billion, I am grateful. This is what many generations may not even get. I am grateful. When we were growing up, we used to sing a song, some have food but cannot eat some can eat but have no food we have food and we can eat glory be good values now our children just say plus plus jesus minus satan very indisciplined way of saying thank you over a meal when last did you take your eyes away from what god has not done to look at the many things he has done is someone learning now make up your mind that this year will not be a year of complaining and grumbling unhealthy comparison lord thank god for the rapper you gave me but is this person not a human being too why are you giving her a rapper of two million and you gave me a rapper of 200 and god says you will remain there because you think i'm stupid for trusting you everything multiplies when you become thankful and thoughtful god god sees my heart and i will tell you sincerely i have never never ever wished to say oh god please i'm not grateful just make me like this mm, i don't do that lord i am grateful right from the time this ministry was in its infancy if i come for koinonia today sincerely and i see only 10 or 20 people from a leadership standpoint, I will be concerned and responsible and find out why. But intrinsically from my heart, I will stand before the God of heaven and say, the privilege you gave me to teach somebody, 